Hey, what's up, guys? Kato back with another video. And today we're gonna, uh, you know, look at this uh, news. LeVar Ball says he'll pull LaMelo from school, city's coach administrators. So basically, yeah, just pulling him out from Chino Hill. So he's not gonna attend uh, Chino Hill yet. But the thing is, he's a junior. So he got, like, he's a good, yeah, he's a, about to be a junior. So he got two years left. You know, before I don't know about college, but you know, because of the whole, you know, L Lamelo ones, you know, him basically Lavar, you know, uh, promoting his son's shoe, you know, call Lamelo, uh, Lamelo's uh, one. So, and got this uh, video about you know explaining why he's uh, yeah, explaining why he's pulling Lamelo out from school. So. Let's get straight to it. Hey, so that's two high school coaches in what? Six months? Two high school coaches in two months. And they ain't got it yet. All you gotta do is do like Coach Bay, get along with me, and guess what? You go 35 and 0. When you try to do it your way, Goodbye. So, most people play in high school because they like to play in high school, right? Exactly. But if you don't, You're not worried if you don't like the coach, who cares? You just want to play if you play basketball. I got a better plan for this. So, is, are you going to teach him yourself? Math, science, Boy, English? Taught Lonzo, Jello, and all them. Don't act like I can't be educated, too. You taught them, you taught them math, science, math, or you taught science, them basketball? Sociology. The difference is with Melo, when he does geography, he's really going to be there. <laughs> he's going to be in... And, uh, yeah, I got to pause that real quick. And the thing about, you know, uh, high school, you can actually be homeschooled and, you know, finish uh, high school a lot quicker that way and still have a lot of time to, uh, you know, get getting ready for uh, college. And it's, it's, it's also a lot easier to, you know, get good grades uh, home and school anyway. And it's a lot faster because you don't got no distractions from, you know, all those other people in class and, you know, and also the teachers. There's some te there's some uh, teachers that don't know their job or just don't, they just don't care. That's the fact. That's a, uh, a pretty big fact that, you know, some teachers are not uh, fit for their jobs. But they're there to, you know, get paid and to go home uh, earlier than they should be. So there's a lot of, uh, and also, you know, with LeVar, I mean, I do agree with, uh, uh, you know, what LeVar, you know, mentioned with, uh, you know, with, uh, about his uh, future. There's you no, know, with, with education in this country, education ain't worth much as it was you know, years and years ago. Because back then, if he had a, because, uh, you know, back then, education means everything more than, you know, uh, sports. But now, you know, sports is getting more and more money and it starts to, you know, becoming, it starts becoming in a norm that, especially recently, like in early, uh, like the early days, you know, players were starting to, you know, Go, go straight, go straight to the pros after high school, and then after you know, and then you know, 2004 hit, and you can't do that anymore. You got to be 19, and you have to do a year in college. I mean, that's what at least what the NBA says. But you don't have to uh, go to the NBA. You can just, I mean, go. I mean, don't have to uh, go to college. You just have to be you know 19, you know, to go to the NBA. You can. But you can go either in college, the G League, or you know go overseas. But you know, it's more. It seems more easier to you know just go to you know NCAA, which you know in real, if I mean it's go to um, it's but in real life it doesn't. It's not really easier because you basically don't have any say. You know in college. You know, the NCAA is the boss, and, 
you know, it's and also over, but also with overseas, I feel like it's the best choice for you know Lamelo because you know his shoes already you know is gonna be coming out you know the Lamelo ones, and you know he's gonna get also. And plus, also there's a lot more money. You know, overseas than a lot of people you know underestimated. Just look at uh Stefan Marbury. He's getting money over there. He's getting money. So, and plus those people will. And plus those uh, I want to say those people. Well, I mean anybody you know overseas, you know in Europe, China, Russia, whoever. If Lamelo plays the same way he does in high school and starts balling out. Hitting them shots up, you know, becoming bigger and bigger, you know, over there. He's he's gonna get a lot of sales. He's gonna make the big ball of brand a bigger, you know, company than it is in the, in the states. And that's the thing, you know. There's more money over overseas than there are in the states. What a lot of people don't understand. But these big companies do, like Samsung, even though they're from over there. Samsung, LG, uh, Dell. You know, Dell's a uh, Dell's America, right? It's from America. Yeah, uh, yeah, Dell's from America. And he uh, uh, have Chinese manufacturer uh, manufacturers uh, to uh, make their uh, their uh, computers. Same thing with Apple. So it's a, a pretty big, you know, money hungry, you know, world. I feel like that's the best, you know, decision for Lamelo is to go overseas. But if the, but if he goes overseas, then you know, the NCAA is going to be in trouble because because recently, uh, uh, recently, uh, what is it? Ter- you have Terrence uh, Ferguson, if I'm saying it right. Terrence Ferguson. He was a cl- in class uh, 20, I think it's like 2014, 2015, if I recall. Let me look him up. Terrence. I said that's West, but. Ferguson. Yeah, that's, yeah this is what I was talking about, uh, Ferguson. He actually uh, tried to. Uh, he's actually uh, accepted to play for Alabama. You see him. He's currently playing for the, uh, you know, for the Thunder, Oklahoma Thunder. But he actually uh, tried to play in Alabama, but then at the last moment, he played. Uh, I forgot where. But he played. He tried, He decided to play overseas. The same thing with um, that other guy. He's a point guard with the Nuggets. I think it's his second year right now. Damn, I need to. I, don't, I need to remember these guys' names. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. And also Brandon Jennings. He went uh, overseas after high school. Having a struggling career right now, but. Hey, he decided. He made a he made a choice that you know he feels like it's best for himself and for his family. So, so you got to make those type of uh, choices, you know, if you want to, you know, and you don't have to always, you know, go to college. College, you know, it's kind of it's really a waste of time, really, because you can get better as a player, you know, outside of that. But again, I know I'm trying to. Uh, discredit you know education education is still you know very important knowledge is power but the NCAA you know is very big for you know manipulating and you know using these players as mules to get their resources up and they're in the cop and the uh, players they ain't getting a dime of that money yeah, they're getting, you know, like scholarships and all that, but you can't be uh, living living by yourself with just scholarships. You just can't, especially after you graduate. And then you got to pay back uh, the school with student loans and all these tuition uh, fees and all this BS. 
So let's get to this uh, video. If the cash is crumpled, is it still straight cash? Wait, why is it? I just wanted to hear it from you. Crumpled, straight cash, whatever. It's still gonna spin. Yo, why does it? Why is it gonna start over? I don't have any over. Call me. Hey, so that's two high school coaches in what six two months? High school coaches. So, most people you don't like the cup bonzo jello and all them don't act like i can't be educated too you taught them you taught them math, math science math or you taught science, science, them basketball sociology the only difference is with mellow when he does geography he's really gonna be there <laughs> he's gonna be in china italy he's gonna be all over there so you so you think he does this affect it, whether he goes to ucla or not no, it's not gonna affect him going to ucla mm -hmm. we're still in high school we're just gonna homeschool for two years so where and does get he get games in what? Where does he get games in? I can get him the best game every day. All the fact, I just got to go down to the hood, say, who want to ball with my son? And it'd be ex-pros, D1 guys, JC guys who don't want to study, say, hey, I'm coming up there right now. now it ain't going to be no problem. If I uh, yeah, I, I don't know about, you know, playing. <laughs> Let my son play in the, uh, in the hood, man. Because shit happens, man. Because I don't <laughs> If he if he doesn't be uh be uh careful and watch his uh especially for Melo if he doesn't you know watch himself he might end up like that guy uh, uh like that guy in that movie when the uh when the game stands tall and that big ass uh the big powerhouse that used to be a powerhouse in uh, California, I forgot what that school is called, but they were very big. They've been back then. They were like they were winning all the time. And he could be like that guy, no, but not attending school. So he might end up like him. So and I can't, I, I can't remember these guys' names. I, I'm very, <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember these uh people's names, man. But you got, you guys know what I mean. Coach doing that you didn't like. He started coming in there. He told Melo, "Oh, them 50 shots a game, you ain't got to worry about those no more." He came in with his own mindset, like he gonna change the whole program. I told him, "We lost three games in three years." Come on, man, what are you bringing to the table? And some would say he's just coaching. He's not even coaching. He's just riding on my boy's coattail. Where'd he come from? He said he played in Arizona. He said he played in Notre Dame, but he didn't tell nobody. He sat on the bench the whole time. He had to transfer, so he went to Hampstead or something like that. Nobody know about that school. Ooh, oh, we didn't know about that. <laughs> man, Google is the greatest thing, man. <laughs> Even though there's a lot of other search search uh, engines out there, like Bing and uh, other other things. Yo, internet. <laughs> you gotta love the internet sometimes, man. You just be finding out about finding things out about people. That they might not even realize. Crazy man. My general thought is whoever takes that job knows that they got to deal with you. Why would somebody take the job? Everybody knows when they take that job they got to deal with me. Who do they think built the program? Nobody knows about Chino Hills if the ball boys ain't there. And I started off by saying, you know what? My son ain't going to modern day and all these other schools. They're gonna be right around the corner. Now, if you listen and get along with me, you're gonna be undefeated. But once you want to do it your way and have your name on it and say, hey, it's me who did it, you're gonna fall down. Does it feel like a risk to you to take him out of high school though, miss out on all that? Miss out on what? Going to the prom, hanging with your friends. He can do that without going to school. All you gotta do is walk down the street, they're gonna hang with him anyway. I, I don't know about that last question, but it really got nothing to do with anything. But you know, what do you expect from these uh, reporters? So yeah, so let's get this. Uh, I think I think you already explained it. Yeah, you kind of already uh, explained it on this article. I mean, of course not, because he know that 
If LaMelo leaves, then that program is going to be down the drain. That national, uh, that national, uh, you know, coverage, that name, that got up on the news all the time, is going to be gone. And they're going to go back to being a nobody before Alonzo even came to town, came to that school. So, I mean, I feel like it's, uh, again, a good, a good, uh, you know, decision for LeVar, even though it's not part of a norm. And I, re- and I really hope that, you know, LaMelo benefits from this because it'll be pretty, tra- uh, pretty, uh, horrific, you know, event if he doesn't, you know, do well. After all of this is happening, like him dropping out of Chino Hill, he has to go homeschool. But I mean, the thing with homeschool is, again, you can graduate a lot earlier than if you attend school, private or you know, public. It doesn't matter. So that's my uh, you know reaction to uh, you know Lavar, you know, doing what he's doing right now so hope you guys know enjoy this like i did and i'll see you guys next time peace out